Welcome to Sacred Stories, a sacred space where the beautiful divine voices of today are shared. I am your host, Reverend Patricia Caginello, formerly Brooks, and together with the help of our courageous guests, we are going on a powerful journey, a sacred journey into our shared consciousness. Today, we are speaking with author, healer, and solar color expert, Helen Heinmiller, about her brand new work using solar color energies for healing. So I'd like to say welcome, Helen Heinmiller, to Sacred Stories. Thank you, Patricia. I'm so happy to be with you. Yeah, I'm really happy that you're here also, you know, because you're such an interesting person in the sense that you're a a spiritual teacher and you're bringing some brand new information about solar color energies to this world. But you're also an author and you also have, I think, a, a a very compelling and profound sacred story to share with us. Well, thank you. I I really do um, appreciate this opportunity to talk to you about my sacred story because I know when I went through you know the challenges in my life that led me to this place that I'm today, that I didn't hear a lot of stories out there about people having the same shared experience. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that because that is really the the heart of Sacred Stories and, and why we do this and why we take the time to share. It's for that reason. And, you know, it's interesting because I'm on your website. Your website is evolvingtruth.com, and you have this beautiful quote from you that says, the truth changes at any moment. What I believe and experience today does not remain for all eternity. It may only take a second, a minute, a day, or a month to experience a new truth. If I do not allow my truth, the freedom to change, then I will limit my knowledge of God. Helen, that is so absolutely beautiful. I have to say, actually, I'm tingling a little bit now. And so I know that truth has been spoken. And I wanted to read that because I feel that that is a really big part. The, The allowing of our truth, the freedom to change, in, in in your sacred story. Yes, and the reason why that, I think, uh, came through me was because of the um, challenges that I faced early on that butted up against the truth of, of what, you know, people were telling me. And so at every juncture of resistance, you know, I created a lot of drama in my life. And it was like, what is what is this about that I keep, you know, what I'm being told doesn't feel right, and yet I'm told it's absolute. But I'm experiencing and I'm knowing that there's something different. And so when I finally realized that it wasn't necessarily me that was the problem, it was that our inability to understand that truth changes. And it's really the resistance to change which causes a lot of the pain and drama that we that are around us or we create in our life. And so that when that came through me, I was just in all of it as much as, as you are, that it's like, wow, this is profound. If people understood that part of the dynamic of, of our struggles in life is that it's about resisting the, our truth changing. And because yeah. we do that, we don't grow. So your truth has changed. Is that true? I mean, you are a healer and a solar color expert, and we're going to dive into that in just a couple of minutes. But but that is a a change of, or at least of the, not necessarily maybe the truth, but the acknowledgement of your truth. I guess we could say it that way. Share with us a little bit more about who Helen Heinmiller, you know, kind of was to a degree and, and your story to becoming the, the confident healer that you are today sharing solar color energies? Well, I actually love my story because my story is kind of rough in places. I was born into a large, you know, that typical Irish Catholic family of 10 kids, and I was the second in line first girl. And, you know, we went to church every Sunday, you know, the, the, the normal uh, routine, the conservative routine in life. And I, I came in like very early on, Patricia, knowing at like the age of four who Jesus was before anybody taught me about Jesus. And I knew this sense of God that that there was a creative source that I came from before, you know, anybody taught me that. But what I didn't know is that 
this wasn't normal in my family that that uh you know I was the weird one the only one that that my mom used to say I I I thought too deeply you know because I just experienced life so differently I and mean, I thought everybody knew Jesus as like a best friend and and knew that God was loving and you know forgiving but then as I went through life and you know I went to Catholic school and I was I was taught a different version of of who these uh, you know, special um, b- beings are in our life. And so it, it created a lot of rough events in my life. I couldn't relate to people the way, because I always was seeing life differently than everybody else. And it was always more through the lens of, you know, everything's going to be all right. You know, this, is, this isn't bad. You know, this kind of event isn't bad. And it would be that conflict with people that would say, no, you should be afraid, or no, it's only this way that caused, you know, relationship problems, and not just within my family, but within, you know, work or school or whatever. I just always seemed to rub people the wrong way, saying the nicest things. So, so, but I think that that is so true of so many people when, when what they really feel inside or know inside is in contrast to the environment that they're in or the people that they're in so, or with. So, so let's fast forward though. So now you're a grown woman and you have been given access to brand new spiritual information, solar color energies that you, that you have access to and that you teach that bring the idea of healing with colors, which we know to be true, even the medical field have been healing with colors for generations. The um, But you're taking it to a different level. So now you need to or have the opportunity to step into the truth of you as a spiritual teacher. Share, share how you do that coming from the childhood and the experiences that you've had. Well, it took a long time, and it and it took a, a couple dark nights of the soul for me to realize, you know, I kept trying to conform to the world around me, and I was being given these beautiful gifts and, and knowledge of, and, and actually, you know, uh, being able to see the world in a little bit different dimension that I grew up with. You know, I, I was given these gifts. I had wind coming out of my hands, and it was it was amazing and mystical and beautiful and sacred and i kept running into walls with people and and conflict and so i kept trying to make this part of me fit into you know our regular world and it didn't and when i finally you know had one of those dark nights of the soul um where i said it was a physical crisis um where i finally saw this idea that you know there's people that have to kind of walk the in front of the line in our in our um, uh, procession in knowledge, and that you got to walk alone, and then so that other people uh, can run. You know, so you, I just had to embrace and accept that this uh, reality that I live in now, where I am able to use these these new tools from other dimensions. Um, have always been here and we're opening to them and someone was chosen, me, to bring in these new tools in a specific way. And when I embrace that, that, you know, there is nothing wrong with this. This is who I am and who I came to be. Then things started rolling. And then, you know, then my understanding of my place in the world and what I'm here to do opened me up to to deliver these tools in you know in the way I'm doing it now. And you know I appreciate you saying the dark night of the soul because I think it's important to honor and acknowledge that many of us that are on the spiritual path or or on different paths in life have a lot of our own internal struggles. Do you know what I mean? So even if it's not necessarily apparent to everyone around us there are, you know, tremendous struggles that, that we go through. So so you going from the second of 10 children in a large Irish traditional family to stepping into your role as a spiritual teacher, sharing new information about solar energy healing with the world is huge. And, and I just want to, I want to acknowledge that. 
And I want to acknowledge your courage to say yes to the information because I think it's true that the information, as you say, has always been here. It's swimming in this sea of collective consciousness all around us. And I think many people have the opportunity to say yes, but not everybody does. And if you don't say yes, someone else will, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. it took courage on your part, courage and a lot of work, in order to be able to step up and say, yes, I I accept that I I will be the one to share this information. And and, and so I want to acknowledge that because we need you, Helen Hein Miller, and we need others like you. Thank you. And, And I resisted for a long time. I kept trying to push it back, but in the end, I was never happy, Patricia. You know how you just keep going for the success and the career, and this is how I'm supposed to look. But um, it wasn't until I, you know, embraced that this is my mission in life. This is what I've come here to do. There's many of us out there, and and most of us in in the future are all going to be in these roles of um, discovering the new and bringing the new to people. And, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, the, the great spiritual leaders before us that, that brought that information to us, um, I would have never gotten to the place of taking that next step of knowledge. You know, so, so we're, we're, we're forming this beautiful chain of um, evolution, you know, spiritual evolution, and, and um, uh, that's all based in love and light that will ultimately bring all of us into that better place, that that better experience on earth. And that's what we're here to do. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. So let's talk about color energy and then solar color energy. Mm -hmm. What is color energy and and how does color energy affect us? Okay. Well, color energy is part of the, the great white light. And the color energy is light. It's colored light, but it's the, the um, separated dimensions of the white light that I've been shown is the, the original source of creation. Everything is energy in the cosmos, and that means everything is light, and that means we are light. And so color energy is kind of like the language of the, the white light. It's this spectrum of knowledge that um, comes to us and is part of us, but we just hadn't had opportunities um, before to use it the way we can now. And I think we, we've, you know, it's just we always work with color. We know it affects us in our life. But now we're understanding that this is a part of us that we can use for healing. So color energy is the language of the white light. I have never heard it described like that before. And I think that is absolutely profound and beautiful. I love that. I have to repeat it. Color energy is the language of the white light. So so what's solar color energy then, and how is that different? Okay. Well, solar color energy is outside. Uh, it's, it's part of that whole spectrum of color that is inside the white light, but it's outside of our physical ability to connect with it. Our eyes, the the sensory um, system in our eyes can only pick up the colors in the the whole color spectrum, which is multi-millions different color dimensions in that white light, you know, and goes on and on and on the amount of colors that are in the white light. So, and our physical eyes can only pick up what's between the range of 400 and 700, um, uh, I think it's called... uh, nanometers or nanometers so we can see that range normally and those people that are gifted with the ability to see the color around our bodies the the aura intuits they are born with just a bigger uh, expansion like more less than 400 and more than 700 so they're picking up more of the ability to see color now, solar color energies are outside of what we normally can see, and there, there's two important things about it. One is that they carry different intensity and wavelengths um, so that we physically can't see them, but we can intuitively feel them. And the other is is that they're non-harming. Now, we, we know colors can affect us positive and negative, but solar color energies are coming from a different dimension, not the third dimension that we see color in in our normal life. 
So they come in, and they're kind of a constant. And so we can't get too much or too little of it and have it affect our physicality. They are that perfect frequency that we also carry in our body. So people that can see auras, they see a wider range on the color spectrum field. That's mm-hmm. also fascinating. So, so, but some people can learn to see auras or can tune in to see auras. So how does that work? Do they, are they able to just increase the, the field that they, they have access to? Mm-hmm. It's, it's absolutely just practice and intention. So you can practice um, looking at a person, and usually what happens is you start by seeing a white light outline. So you're seeing their light, their white light that they are part of. And then what, as you practice, what you get is that kind of grows and expands out from the body, and then you can start seeing the various colors. But it, it does, it's just repetition and practice and intention. And learning, you know, learning to step out of your, you know, to get out of your way, you know, put the ego and all that stuff aside, and then just relaxing, softening the eyes, and then you see, you start beginning to see more of what's around us. Because that color is in our energy field. Every single person has the, the color energies inside of them and, and that it emanates to the outside of them. I see the white light. I see the white outline all the time. And I see mm-hmm. the white outline around things all the time. You right. know, animate and inanimate objects. I see the white. Mm-hmm. And I'm always like, okay, let's, let's take it to the next level. And, and I don't think I practice enough. I, I kind of just mm-hmm. kind of do it hit or miss. But it's, it's encouraging. It's very heartening to know that what we're talking about is simply accessing a larger spectrum that is already there that that right. makes it very attainable you know um and i think what that also does and what i love about the way that you explain that and your work with color energies is because it it really just is you know what i'm saying it 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 is we are light i love how you explained that the in the beginning really it is the the white light and it was the separated dimensions of the original white light so we are talking about what we already are we're not talking about doing something that is outside of ourselves which can be sometimes a little uncomfortable or scary for people right and you know the 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 most frequent comment that i get back from people who start using the color therapy that I offer is that it's so deceptively simple. It's just like, wow, all I have to do is, you know, listen to this guided med- this visualization meditation and, you know, be with this light and things shift for me in a dramatic way. And and it's we we tend to overcomplicate things as humans, but when we get back to our pure essence, it's what we're doing. We're just connecting with our pure essence. And in that it creates the shifts in all the different areas of our life. So talk about your visualizations or your meditations and how they work with using the solar color energy. Okay, well, because the solar color energies are outside of our physical ability to see, um, visualizations are the, meditations are the best way to intuitively connect with the energies. Now, all of our cells in our body carry the emotions and the memories of these uh, solar colors. So by using a visualization, using more or less the inner eye to bring these colors into our field, um, we are actually setting up that, um, like a, a little, they're like tuning forks that come in and then it's not that they come into us and shift what's going on. It's that we bring ourselves into their frequency, and then our matching frequency naturally co- comes back into order, comes back into tune, like you would tune a piano, or you would change the, the tuner on a radio to bring that perfect um, connection where, you hit, where there's clarity. So we're actually just pulling in that dimension, that other dimension of the color that is already in us and bringing our color up to that that higher dimension where we become balanced. So you work with 12 main solar color energies, is that correct? Yes, I work with 12. There's 
there's infinite number of solar color energies because every color on the spectrum is has another dimension of itself. So, but these 12, when you put them together and use them at the same time, they actually cover all of the different uh, body systems we have, the physical, the mental, emotional, and spiritual energy bodies that are in our energy field, that make up that energy field around us. And since all of them are really a color, these different fields, um, these 12 colors, when you use them all together, covers everything. So we, so there's where the effortlessness comes because we don't have to discover what the mental or emotional issue is behind maybe our physical problem that we're having. We, we just automatically let the color take care of it by just bringing everything back into attunement. And then the color kind of like pushes out or, sh or you know, um, shatters all of the, the um, imbalances and, and just brings us back into a perfect uh, existence. So we know the basic colors because we had said even the medical field has been using color therapy or healing with color for generations now, the blue light therapy for an example. But your 12 solar color energies are on different dimension of color. So mm -hmm. tell us some of the colors that are the solar color energies that you work with. Okay. Well, the 12 main ones are sapphire blue, sunshine yellow, crystalline pink, pure white, emerald green, ruby gold, violet, aquamarine, magenta, gold, peach, and opal. And then there are other colors and other color combinations that I'm working with um, to address other things um, like inner child healing or uh, spiritual contract release. But these, these 12 are like the perfect combination to deal with our body systems. And we use these colors individually or with others to heal physical, emotional, mental and spiritual issues that we're having. Right. So let's just let's let's give some examples of that. So for example, a physical the physical body system, it this is the fall and many people are experiencing allergies due to leaves and mold and so forth. Um is there anything that helps the respiratory system or allergies that that people could use with solar colors? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a uh, I've placed a color each of the colors with one of our 12 body systems. I call them the master uh, body color. And so for a respiratory sy uh, system, it would be emerald green, which is the master color. And emerald green is a very good color for healing any physical uh, issue that we have. But then also um, you can add in the ruby gold light, which is another strong healing color that tends to heal spiritual, mental, and emotional issues that are causing a physical symptom, and then the color of magenta, which brings us uh, balance and harmony. Okay, so how about one of the, the, the off the charts, the amount of people that suffer from depression in the U.S., you know, and, and I'm sure around the world, but in the U.S., the statistics are are mind-boggling for people who are suffering with depression, depression or, or depression-like symptoms. Are there solar color energies that can help people suffering with depression? Yes, for depression, um, I would uh, suggest pure white, emerald green, and aquamarine. Now, a pure white is about uh, purifying and rest restoration and resurrection. So, um, really important healing attributes when you're talking about somebody that's in a depressed state. And then the emerald green is also for healing uh, anything in the physical body that contributes to your depression. And then aquamarine is this beautiful energy that um, is very fluid, like if you think about a boat on water, and it just helps to um, bring back um, you know, the sense of clarity and lucidity and also discernment and divine perception. So when you're depressed, these are the things that are blocked, uh, is the ability to discern what to do next. You kind of you kind of get to that, that wall where you, you can't think and move forward. Right, right. You know, we started the show with the your sacred story, and we talked about you being raised in an environment that you felt contrast to because you had felt your 
your truth in, in knowing as a spiritual embodied spirit and, and you having to work through feelings, right? Um, and, and I would imagine uh, sometimes, I don't know if you've ever felt shame, but I think that many people who are stepping onto their spiritual path feel shame or have shame thrust upon them for trying to step into the power and sharing the truth of who they are. Is there a, is there a spiritual color, um, a solar color that can help with the, um, this spiritual feeling of shame? Yes. Um, there's three colors, uh, sapphire blue, sunshine yellow, and uh, opal. But opal is the most important one because opal is, it represents the healing attributes of transformation and transfiguration. And when you are in that state of shame, you, know, you, you are looking at um, the inability to connect uh, with your yourself, but also to create a, a new version of yourself. So opal brings in this powerful energy of transformation, which you know helps you to restart your life. And then transfiguration is actually moving everything around in you to create a new you. It's it's the they're all you know equally you know great colors, but the opal is. So incredible and and transforming. It's just uh, and many people when I give show them the twelve colors in my practice and I ask them to pick one, uh, they almost all go to opal instantly because that is the the most profound healing uh, attribute. Now we took or I asked you very specific individual complaints across the physical, emotional, and spiritual bodies. However, many of these work together or are related correct i mean many of our physical manifestations can be can originate in our spiritual emotional and mental bodies right and that's important to know because a lot of times when we have this a physical symptom that we can't resolve um we try every you know medicine in the book and diet changes and all um, the reason why it isn't healing is because there's some form of spiritual, mental, or emotional imbalance that we haven't addressed. And when we think about these four body systems, you know, when we have a physical problem, if we have, you know, car accident or we didn't eat right, um, the body, you know, it affects the physical body and we get that natural imbalance. But when you have a mental, emotional, or spiritual issue, a lot of times on these bodies, they, they send us sy signals, but they're so subtle that we don't get the hint, you know, that something's wrong. And then they have to use the physical body, kind of the rock bottom, you know, to give give us that message of, hey, you need to change something big time. You're way out of balance. You know, maybe it's a relationship issue. You know, maybe it's you're overworking and you're not giving yourself enough downtime. So the only way they can get to us is through a physical complaint, and that's right. when we pay attention. So, Helen, so we're saying, or you're saying, that using these different solar color energies can can heal these different physical, emotional, spiritual, and, and mental complaints that we have or, or symptoms that we have. When we say using the solar color energies, just if you could just briefly explain what that means. How do people work with solar color energies to begin with? Well, the, the solar color energies are really a support to what we're doing, you know, to taking care of our body and making those cha life changes that come along that need to be changed. But what we're doing is we're just bringing in that tuning fork. We're just bringing in that tool to rebalance all the different frequencies in our bodies that, uh, you know, when they're out of balance, cause the, all these different chain reactions, whether it's a physical or a, an emotional uh, reaction. So the more we use and, and bring in this energy and connect with it and bring our vibe, we're, we're raising the vibration of our body, but we, we have to keep doing this therapy to keep ourselves in balance once we get there cuz you know we we don't do a very good job of balancing ourselves without some of you know, without having some tools you know at hand so solar color energies are just a great support system to bring to keep fine tuning all of your different energy fields to stay in balance 
Now, you, in addition to teaching about the solar color energies, because this has been much of this information has been channeled to you, right? You've received yes. um, you have received divine guidance on these energies and what the, what they do. You've also created um, a course and, and different ways for people to be able to work with you and work with the solar color energies. Can you can you speak briefly about the work that you do? Okay. Well, I've developed this. Um, deep relaxation a color energy therapy program that I find is the most effective in helping people uh, in their busy schedule. And one of the reasons why I did it as a, an MP3 recording is because a lot of the, the color energy treatments out there involve machines or office visits, and that can get really costly. And so I was guided to bring through this format of healing um, to make it more accessible to people. And also, you can use it at home, you can use it you know, at whatever time you choose. And I created it so that there's a lot of flexibility in how to use it. I have a full 41 minute uh, meditation that covers all, that brings all of the color into uh, your body. But then I also have a deluxe program where it's all tracked out so that you can use um, a common complaints recommended color chart that I created to target specific things that are going on. Or if you just don't have 41 minutes and you want to spend, you know, uh, five to ten minutes with a couple of the different colors. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you can use it. And then I created the online course for those who are interested in an even deeper integration where I use uh, color videos that have the solar color energies embedded in them that bring in the energies even stronger. And it also explains in detail, you know, how the energies work and how all the different ways you can use them in your life. Helen, share your website with our listeners so they know how to contact you to, to find out further about working with you and the solar color energies. My, my website is Evolving Truths. That's plural, dot com. And um, I have uh, a whole bunch of uh, services pages. You can see all of the different work I'm doing. There are other color energies like called the O-Pearl Light, which combines the opal and the white pearl light energy that are great for a specific uh, healing programs like the inner child healing or uh, the 40-day self-empowerment program, which helps you uh, to uh, – release the old contracts, the old soul contracts, and bring in the new soul contract uh, that is here today with the new energies that allow us to um, learn our spiritual uh, lessons through positive uh, impact of, you know, joy and abundance um, experience rather than the old contract that was pain and suffering. So there's a lot of different uh, tools that I have available for people based on their needs. Helen Heinmiller, I just want to say thank you so very much for for not only sharing all of your information and, and your work with solar color energies with us today on Sacred Stories, but I want to also acknowledge again, going back to your sacred story, the courage and the the strength that you have had to be able to step into your truth and power as a spiritual teacher and bring this information to the rest of us. Well, thank you, Patricia, and I'm so happy to be part of the Sacred Stories community. Well, we are happy to have you, and and listeners, if you um, you enjoyed our conversation with Helen Heinmiller and Solar Color Energies, I encourage you to visit her website, that is evolvingtruths.com, and also subscribe to our podcast, like it, share it, comment, let everyone know about the beautiful Sacred Conversations on Sacred Stories. So until next time, take very good care, and remember to write your sacred story well. <laughs>